Hey everyone and welcome to a brand new update. In this video I'm gonna do the quests uh, with Eve, so let's head over to Eve. Last year I've made a video about these quests, but now I'm gonna do them again in another video. Do you have what it takes? And then you can click on that you received it, but you can't do these quests on horseback, so you need to mount all, and then you can accept this quest. And you're going to and we're going to take a look at this maze. It's loading now, and I did this last year. I know what it is. I know how it works. Pumpkin hunt in the castle cellar. When you already press the button to start the race. So we need to um, to collect all the pumpkins, but we may not touch the ghosts. Look, there was a ghost, and we may not touch any ghosts. So here is uh, what it, um, how we can get out. Um, there are massive pumpkins over here, which protect you from ghosts. Um, you mean ghosts for a while, look, you can't touch the ghosts now. But, just be careful that the ghosts won't touch you. And now I'm going to do this quest, and I'll see you as soon as possible when I've collected them all. I've got all the pumpkins, but there's a ghost, and now I need to search for the exit. And I don't know where it is at the moment. Um, Let's take a look. Oh, here is a surveillance camera, so now here you can take a look where the exit is. And the exit is over here, so now I'm going to run towards the exit. Okay guys, I found the exit, and if we do this one, or if we run into the exit, uh, you get a loading screen again, and then you have this when a uh, race finished. Someone did it in 1 minute and 50 seconds, that's like insane. But I did these quests now, I don't know what my uh, chapter is doing, but this is what you get for the, uh, your ritual is in 10 um, XP for, yeah, for, yeah, your reputation with Silverblade Village. So this was the first quest I was going to check out, and now I'm going to head over to the next quests, uh, which are in... Uh, I guess Golden Leaf Forest. I'm not sure, but I'm gonna take a look. You know what? We're so close to Moreland now, so I think I'm going to start with the quests at Mrs. Holtzwood, because that's the closest character with a new quest at the moment. So yeah, let's head over to Mrs. Holtzwood. Hello, Mrs. Holtzwood. What can we do for you? Oh, pardon me. I didn't see you. I didn't see you. I'm looking for a ghost I saw earlier. Ghosts don't don't exist, you say? Oh, but they do, my young friend. There are, are many that don't believe in ghosts, but I promise you, ghosts really do exist here in Norvik. Okay, so ghosts exist. I didn't know that. Locate the ghost somewhere between Mrs. Holtzwood's cabin and the file of champions. Okay, so now we're going to take a look for the ghost. Um, it should be, should be here. Oh, I see it. Here it is. Hey, ghost. You're a poor little sad ghost. Re return to Mrs. Holtzwood and tell her how it went. Okay. Oh, now it's going to poof. Get away. Indeed. Um... Uh, let's get back to Mrs. Holtzwood to tell her that the ghost is gone. <laughs> uh, she could also just walk like 10 meters to the ghost, but she won't, but yeah. And we've got this tea, this little cute Halloween tea. Oh, I love it. I have a matching blanket, so I'm going to put that one on and then get o head over, sorry, head over to Golden Leaf Forest. I think it's pretty matching. And as you can see, I see a ghost over there. Wait, I want to do that quest. Where is the ghost? It's... Oh, it's there! Look, there's a ghost! I didn't see that one! It has a heart on it, or what is it? Oh, it's tall something. Oh, it's tall a carrot! Uh, speak to it again. Oh my gosh! We've got a saddle blanket, so we need to collect those ghosts. Kind of collect them. I forgot that. I totally forgot that. But as you can see, I kind of got a matching blanket, and but now I want to check out that blanket I've got. What is it? Oh my gosh, it looks so cute! It matches way better. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna wear that one, but now I'm really going to head over to Golden Leaf Forest. I'm gonna take the trailer, because I'm a little bit lazy today, and I don't have much uh, Jorvik chillings, but I don't care. I'm going to take the trailer to the riding hall, and then I'll see you at Golden Leaf Forest. I was wondering, have you ever noticed that the Golden Leaf Forest is in the colors of Halloween? I never did really notice, but I just realized that and that was so weird. But now I'm gonna search for that kind of woman. I can't find her. So 
I'm gonna take a look once more. Oh my god, I just read on the Star Stable website that if you did this quest last year, you can't do it over again, so we won't be able to do these quests right now. I'm very sorry, but you can do them your own if you didn't did them last year. We're now in the Silver Glade Castle and I'm gonna do some kind of ride. Um, sometimes it'll be a little bit scary, but and I'm, I'm now I'm gonna click on the door and then we'll join some kind of car which we're going to ride in and I'm very excited because um, I did this one last year but I kind of forgot how it went so let's go sometimes it can be a little bit scary so don't yeah don't be surprised if uh, here is something coming I guess I don't know what but something's coming or is it here look that kind of thing, so you'll be scared. <laughs> um, I warned you, so you knew that, but yeah. Now we're going to take a look at the rest of the ride. I think it's a little bit scary, why? <laughs> my, my character also does uh, her hands up like, why? <laughs> That's so yeah, funny. Oh my gosh, look. Witches! <laughs> yes, witches! A skeleton? Which kind of creepy thing is coming right? Whoa, an octopus. <laughs> that kind of shit isn't scary. Some ratatas? No, some rats. Those aren't scary too, I think. Another skeleton and another skeleton and a spider. Oh my gosh, I hate spiders so much. They're so scary. And Mr. Kimball. He's also very, uh, very, very, yeah. Oh my gosh, a vampire. But Mr. Kimball is also very scary. Um, <laughs> you know, that was a joke. Um, a, a witch, or who is it? No, it's someone from the dark hall. It's someone from the dark hall. Oh my gosh. Bats! I knew there was going to come something. Okay, I think we're close to the end. But Star Stable did some real nice jobs. Oh my gosh, a pumpkin. Those aren't scary. And that is... I don't know his name anymore. That's... Oh my gosh. He's leader of the Dark War, but this was everything, I guess. We're going to get out, and yeah, this was it. And I actually really love it. So if you love it too, leave it down in the comments. As you can see, we're now at some kind of bucket with apples in them, and this is called the Apple Bobbing um, Contest. And you can get something from these, so we're going to take a look how it works. Just click on it, and you click on yes. And then you can start rubbing it, trying to take the apple, you didn't manage to grab anything, try again. And you need to keep clicking till you get something. And this can take a while, so I'll see you... Whoa. It happened like immediately, that's kind of impossible. But what have we got? As you can see, I've got this iced tea, and actually I really love the apple bobbing um, system thingy in Star Stable. Cause yeah, it's one of my favorite Halloween updates, so it's deserves a like. Also this week you can find some new clothing in the mall and there is some amazing new makeup so I'm getting to check that one out right now. As you can see I am in a shop and there are four I think yes new makeup styles and we start off with this one very scary 10 star coins and then the next one which I am going to buy wait I'm going to buy it right now um yeah, it's also very scary, but I love it, so I bought it. Um, yeah, and this one was also 10 star coins. Now we've got this one. You look totally green in this one. Uh, it's not my style, but if you love it, you can go buy it. 10 star coins too. And then the last one, which is more fairy taley, also 10 star coins. So we are going to start off with the red merino wool sweater, which is perfect for the window. I love the color and if you want to go buy it, it is, as you can see, 58 star coins or 3,300 your victory links. I promise you guys to not say that anymore, but I'm not going to do that. I'm sorry. Then we've got this pench, pench, what? <laughs> pants, which I really love. And another matching uh, hat, helmet, which I really love too. Then a green hoodie with a print. There's a horse on it. And it's a pretty color, but I wouldn't buy it myself. So 
yeah let's head over to our our new skinny jeans the, dr the black drain pipe skinny jeans and I love skinny jeans but this is not my style of skinny jeans so nope I'm not gonna buy it then we've got these gloves the orange sport gloves which you can pretty good match with a new Halloween outfit maybe but then with another color on your shirt because I don't really like this combination then we've got this dark blue hoodie with print it's the same uh, as this one as a green one but it's just another color and I love the color too though and then we've got the last item the dark blue cross-country boots which are pretty too so yeah I'm happy with the new clothes this was pretty much everything for the mall for today, so now we're going to head over to Moreland or Fort Pinta, I don't know, you'll see where I'll uh, st be standing in a minute, uh, to check out the Halloween clothes, so let's go! And there definitely is a Halloween shop in Fort Pinta, so let's check this out right now. There are a bunch of clothing, as you can see. If gonna, we're gonna start with this helmet, it's a pumpkin helmet, I don't really like it so I'm not gonna buy it. But then we've got this bad jacket, which I like. Um, I love it actually. Spider leg wraps, but I already have these, so I'm gonna put that on um, as soon as possible. Then we've got this hat, a saddle blanket, a bridle, a saddle, um, another blanket, another bridle, and another saddle, um, another hat, a, yeah, some pants, shoes, boots. Oh my gosh, I like these. A dress which is very scary and some gloves <laughs> look at the look at the text over there I'll put a um, you know what I mean it's standing over there look at those tags lol um, then we've got this fairy dress and again haha <laughs> or hey hey I don't know um, fairy trousers and then some fairy gloves and those are all the items for um, yeah for this shop but let's take a look at the original Halloween outfit of last year. So this was the Halloween outfit of last year and I think I'm gonna wear this for the rest of the week so yeah let you know that. And right now I'm gonna show you some new masks. As you can see there are, wait let me count these, uh, eight uh, masks and we're going to start with this one which is a dog. Then we have, um, that's a person from Silver Blade Village I think. I don't know, this is a skeleton mask and a bird mask, I guess. A frog mask. It, oh my gosh, it makes me think about Slippy. If you don't know who Slippy is, shame on you. But yeah, um, this is a pig mask, which is cute actually. And a cow mask. And the last one, a pumpkin with a hat on his head mask. And actually, I like these masks. I think I'm going to buy one. Uh, maybe this one or should I buy another? I'm gonna take a look which one I'm going to buy. Okay, I know what I want and that's this one. Um, I'm gonna put it on and wear it the wall episode. Um, but now we're going to head over to the party part of Fort Pinta because I want to show you something very cool. As you can see, Star Stable put three big pumpkins over here and also some, yeah, we call it slingers in Dutch, but I don't think it's called like that in English, but you know what I mean, I guess. And yeah, I really love it. So if you go partying it Friday or Saturday, this is the best experience for Halloween, of course. There is some story going around and I'm gonna tell you about that story right now. The legend of Gallibert Thompson is well known all over Europe and has been terrifying kids and adults alike every Halloween for many, many years. Different versions of who or what Gallibert Thompson is are flying around all over the place at this time of year and nobody really knows the truth. Poems and stories about Thompson are everywhere. And these scary tales terrify the Icelanders and their horses. But hey, they're just silly ghost stories, right? I'm very excited what Star Stable means with this text on the Star Stable website. But we'll see that as soon as possible, I guess. 
But this was everything for this week. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And I hope I'll see you next week with a new episode of Star Stable Updates. Bye! Yo, I ain't here for the money. I ain't here for the fame. Though it might be nice to own a jet plane. I'ma do it all for you. Come along